It might be tough to know which breed is best for you and your family when choosing a dog, but if you've now decided the Staffordshire Bull Terrier is the dog for you and your family, the next decision is whether you should get a male or a female Staffy. In this video, we're going through the three key differences between the male versus female Staffy. Male and female Staffies are significantly different, and it is vital to choose the gender that best suits your family's needs. If you base your decision on availability, you risk being dissatisfied with your new dog's gender. The first key difference is the male versus female Staffy temperament. In general, male Staffies are larger and they may require more assertive training than females. Male Staffies are typically thought of as more well-rounded family pets because of their ability to cope with a broader range of settings. However, if a female dog is living nearby and they come into heat, you should always provide a male Staffy with a secure area to exercise where he cannot escape. A male Staffy tends to be more assertive, more demanding of authority and bossier than a female. Male Staffies will attempt to test the boundaries far more than a female if they get the chance. Females are different and tend to be more subservient to their humans. Ask the breeder for assistance since they will be familiar with their puppies and should allow you to visit the litter a few times to observe their distinct traits. If you choose a dominant dog, you'll need to be firm from the outset. The male should know who is in control. It's also essential everyone in the house is on the same page with training the dog. You can't have a situation where they get away with naughty behavior from some family members. These dominance and controlling tendencies are not as apparent with female staffies. As a rule, male staffies have a greater need for human companionship than their female counterparts. Therefore, they are more likely to stay close to you and they'll happily accept any love you may offer. Another thing to consider is that male staffies are more likely than females to treat children as playmates, leading to some rough play. But undoubtedly, staffies love human children and are very protective. The next key difference between male and female staffies is the living situation you'll be bringing them into. So, let's answer the question, can Staffies live together? Plenty of dog owners love having two or more dogs in the house, and while Staffies enjoy playing and spending time with other dogs, their primary concentration is on their human family. It's possible that cats and Staffies can get along too, and better than you might think. Of course, both animals will let the other know when angry, but they'll both get the message. Let's look at the differences between male and female Staffies living together and Staffies of the same sex sharing a home. First up, can male and female Staffies live together? A Staffy male and a female are a good mix because males can handle females with some attitude. However, if you intend to have a male and female in the same home and don't want puppies, the female needs to separate from the male when in heat. Staffordshire Bull Terrier should also be kept apart at night unless you watch them which isn't practical for many people, so that's something to consider. Next, can two female Staffies live together? Staffies are terriers, and the consensus is terriers of the same sex are more likely to fight. Two dominant females will be a problem because they will almost certainly fight. Finally, can two male Staffies live together? Having two male Staffies in the same house is a little risky. You might be okay and get away with it. However, if their relationship turns nasty for whatever reason, they are unlikely to get over it and you'll probably have to rehome one of them. So it's essential to consider the differences between the male and female Staffy and your situation at home with current pets. Do male and female Staffies fight? Staffies of the opposite sex can fight, although it's not as common as same sex dogs. If you get two Staffordshire Bull Terriers, it would be better if they grew up a couple of years apart. Having two dogs simultaneously and at the same age can disrupt human and dog bonding. Observing how your first Staffy behaves towards other dogs they meet will offer some excellent insights into whether they would enjoy a friend. Some dogs unquestionably do not want a doggy friend. Spaying or neutering your Staffies can also significantly affect their behavior. What can cause male versus female Staffy fighting? Fighting is almost sure to break out whenever two Staffies compete for the same resource. This type of aggression is especially true when one Staffie is more subservient and hence has a greater desire to keep the resource for itself. So, let's answer the question you're probably here to answer. Should I get a male or female Staffie? Choosing a male or female Staffordshire Bull Terrier is totally up to you. It depends on your family situation. If you are interested in breeding Staffies yourself, you will choose a female. However, if that's not a consideration, it's down to your preference between males and females. 
As outlined in this video, the key differences between male and female Staffies are their temperament, whether you have other pets, and whether you already have a Staffie at home. If you're still torn on which sex to go with, if you plan on spaying or neutering the Staffie, it really doesn't matter which sex you choose. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for new Staffie videos every week, and hit the like button if this video helped you. Thank you for watching.